CGCP2714 by Chastetica. White has a pair of rooks and a pair of knights and a pawn against black's rook, knight and pawn. So white has almost double black's material. Notice also that the rook on c7 is in a position to be captured by all three pieces, the king, the knight and the rook. So it seems like an option here is rook captures rook. Now if pawn captures rook, rook to d2 check, knight to d6, rook captures knight, king to c7, rook to d2 or anywhere along this uh, file generally, c5 followed by knight to e6 checkmate. So black can last a bit longer here if he plays instead knight captures pawn. Rook captures knight, d6, knight to f5, d5, rook to e2, d4, black doesn't have much else to do, rook to d6 check, king to c7, followed by rook to c2 checkmate. Another candidate key move by white in this position might be knight to f7 check, sacrificing the rook. King captures rook, rook to b2, threatening of course rook to b7 mate, so black can only buy time, rook to a6 check, king captures rook, white wins it right back, knight to d6, rook to c2 check, king to b8, knight captures knight, king to a8, rook to c8, mate. So based on those candidate key moves and their variations, have you spotted the best way to play in this position? If you have, that's great. If not, let's exploit together. So you can actually win in half the time as the next best move, as you can see, made in six, if you play rook to c8, check. Wow. So the interesting thing about this is, black has no choice here but to capture the rook. The king can't capture it because it's defended by the knight. So rook captures rook. Okay, white gave up a rook. And now, knight to f7, check. Now the king is almost completely smothered by his own pieces, leaving only one square on c7 on which to escape. And this allows rook to c2 checkmate. Now it seems rather obvious once you have seen the solution, but chances are, looking back at this original position, most people would have missed it. They would have gone on to win anyway, but probably in not the best way. For example, they might have played knight captures rook immediately. Of course, here if pawn captures knight, knight to e6 mates immediately, so king captures rook, and f7, knight to d6, f8 promotes to queen, and mate will follow, but longer. 8 moves, 9 moves. In chess, it's important to be efficient with your pieces. And of course, the arguably most aesthetically pleasing mate tends to be the most efficient one as well. Thanks for watching. Until next time. Chesthetica's Book of Chess Constructs, Volumes 1 through 5. Available on Amazon.